Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we came till here yeah and now what we'll be doing is we will be configuring first of all rabbit MQ on my server because that will help me to run my uh, celery library on this Django project. Okay so coming back to our git bash we will stop our server <coughs> I'll write clear. Oops, uh, clear. Yeah. Now I'm going to open one more file, which also I'll be giving a link to you. That is called Rabbit MQ. So first of all, we'll be installing this Rabbit MQ server on the global level. So what I can do is I can deactivate first of all my virtual environment. Then I can write uh, sudo apt get installed. Yeah, that should do it. And this needs this much MB of space. I'm gonna write Y because we need it. Yes. Again, this purple screen comes up, you can press enter. So no containers need to be restarted, no user sessions are running outdated binary, it's perfect. So clear again. Now what we need to do is, after installing, we need to enable it. And synchronizing, uh, it is enable executing fine so now we need to start it so we can simply copy this command and in place of enable we can write start okay and now we need to check the status of it yep so the rabbit mq is configured and it is running and yep we can close this terminal and go back to our project now what is rabbit mq so just i'll take a minute and tell you so celery is used to run tasks in background but it needs a kind of a message broker so we either use a redis server or rabbit mq in this case i'm using rabbit mq for queuing my task in background and executing them okay so now coming back uh, to my list of command, I'll be again going back to my directory, cd ems improved, uh -huh. and I've deactivated my virtual environment, which is fine. Now, uh, what I need to do is, I need to copy this command because I need to create a socket of Gunicorn. Now we have been given a GNU Nano uh, file editor by Linux by default. We need to copy this command. No changes in it. So I go here, paste it. Now how to save it? So as you can see, I've written it here. So what you can do is first press Control O file name to write like this press enter rotate lines and control x so control o enter control x in the nano editor if you are not familiar with on this one now we're going to use the same command but just we're going to write service instead of socket okay now this step is very important why because uh, it will decide how nicely you configure your project and many people have an error they can't configure it properly even a word is missing and you will have an error so i paste it here now you need to make some changes so first of all you need to write the main name of the django project which you gave in that repo my was project one so i write here project one 
then going up you need to write the address of the virtual environment which you have configured so the name of my project is EMS improved and the working directory is actually where you run the python manage.py run server now coincidentally my both address are same your might not be you might be running like you might be having one extra directory in the working directory so i highly recommend you to pause the video here try to understand it and then do it anyway so let me check it again user ubuntu group www data home ubuntu ems improved okay okay looks fine now again control o enter control x now coming back we are going to start the gunicon socket mm -hmm. and then we're going to enable it so we have a created symlink file cool now we need to check the status of it oh active listening now uh, we need to create a file called sock mm -hmm. it is created now we need to check status of it right now it is inactive or dead so we need to activate it the port configured by gunicorn now <clears throat> as you can see i've written here the most crucial step if this works it means everything you have done till now from here till below is right even a single error it will not work and trust me it took me nice two days to actually debug my problem that is why i've documented everything so i'm gonna paste it oops i think uh, that wasn't copied properly so yep copy paste cool so no error so typically you should get an html like response when you if this works okay now let me let it clear again yeah now let me check the status of gunicorn before it was inactive dead now uh, it is active and running which is exactly what we wanted so i stop this again now i copy this command and paste it now i have written sample name you can name this file anything you want but just for um, demonstration purpose i wrote it like this now when you press it again a nano editor will open and you need to copy this piece of code there now everything is okay again a few changes in place of server name your public ip you should copy that public ip which uh, aws gave you you can um yeah one more quick tip you can press alt m yeah that will enable the mouse cursor in nano so i'll simply click here and i get it so i'm going to copy this one 54.86.131.9 and then again the root in place of my project i'm going to give the name of it So let me check everything else. Server name, the root is okay. Home Ubuntu, EMS improved. Okay, Control O, Enter, Control X. Uh huh. Now coming back, the file which we created, in my case, sample file, we are going to do some changes on it again. So we paste the code and enable it. 
mm -hmm. and we paste the next line of code so our syntax is okay and it is successful okay so what we do is we're gonna start restart nginx okay no problem and now we are gonna delete port 8000 so we are gonna delete this portion yeah because we don't need it in real production so we copy this command and paste it here and the rule which we created has now been deleted I clear my terminal and finally this command should be running okay now if I go back I refresh it so it shows me this site can't be reached why because we have just deleted the rule so I remove 8000 yeah and now I press it and our project is running but <laughs> you can see it looks quite different because the static files haven't been configured so just in case you have the same problem what you can do is one quick step uh, copy this piece of code go back here press enter and here in the first line change the user to Ubuntu Oops. Uh, yeah so control O enter control X uh-huh now we need to restart my nginx and check it again yeah so after changing my user to Ubuntu you can see all my static files have come back I don't know why this happens but it happens and we have a way around it okay so I hope you like my project and one last thing uh, <clears throat> before I finish the video we forgot to actually make a worker in rabbit MQ so this should be done at the last stage because we don't want it to be closed so what I do is uh, I'm gonna I think reactivate my virtual environment uh, I'm gonna write source env bin and activate okay and I'm gonna paste it here and change the project name to project 1 because that is the final name of my project the main project uh, and I'm gonna press enter so yeah uh, my worker of rabbit MQ is ready again so I'll just minimize it or close it and that will be okay that will keep my worker running so thanks for watching and I hope you like this short and quick video uh, I think it was very important because there are a lot many ways to do it but I found the most optimized way thank you for watching this have a nice day